everybody, and welcome to Hot Dog Sources and Hand Grenades on the Oculus Quest, which is hooked up to my PC. Now, I've been wanting to do a video on this for a long time. In fact, ever since I got my Quest, I wanted to do a video on it, but I couldn't because my retard self couldn't figure out how to hook it up to my computer to upload my videos that I recorded on it. But now I can just uh, uh, record straight from my computer as it's hooked up, and so I can finally show you what I've been waiting to show you. Now this is one of my favorite VR games, so I'm so happy that I can finally play it, because there it's basically just a gun simulator, but I'm sure... Well, I, I would, you would actually be surprised for a lot of you that don't know this game, but it it's basically just a gun simulator with accurate physics, uh, accurate, like, basically a lot of things are pretty accurate to real life. Now, there are a lot of things you can do in this game. The me being my retard self, in case, in case I haven't made that clear, I don't know how to do a lot of them. Wait, why does this come with a sight if you can't even put it on? can do that, though. And another thing, you can even see the details of the bullets, which is awesome. Okay, so this does work. To take it out, I'm just going to rapidly tap, nope, there we go. Take it out, I can rapidly tap my thumbstick, and I forgot to spawn like that. Let me just do that again real quick. Uh, to also turn on and off the safety, I have to rapidly tap the thumbstick. I don't know if there's an easier way to do that. If there is, please tell me, because I would love to know if there is an easier way of turning on and off the safety, and if there is an easier way of getting out the magazine. So, I'm going to spawn these hot dogs right here, and blam! Oh, I did not mean to shoot two bullets, but they are dead, because headshots kill. Now, I don't know if you're weird like me, but I don't aim down sights unless I absolutely have to. The way I aim in real life and in this game is I hold the gun straight in front of me and and I keep both my eyes open and I basically just see the like the gun will split in half because my eye vision is different on both eyes, so the gun will split in half and I'll just look straight down that's the middle of the two split and half guns, so it gives me perfect accuracy most of the time. But I just thought that was a weird way of doing it, and I know a lot of people don't normally do it like that. So... Okay, I finally went down. I'm... In case you don't know, there is a game on the Oculus Quest called Gun Club. And I would play that a lot before uh, connecting to the computer for the class came out. And I am so used to grabbing ammo right here because they keep the ammo. It's not like this. You don't, you're not able to get all these areas to put ammo in different guns. You just have to put it in one spot here. Knives go somewhere around here. Then your secondary goes here. And that's it. And then you grab the ammo from this side. So I'm so used to grabbing, the, reaching down, just grabbing the ammo easily. Um, but to be perfectly honest, Gun Club absolutely sucks compared to this game. You can't interact with bullet shells because the bullet shells will go up flying. And you can pick them up and interact with them, and I love that. I can see the detail. You can't do that in Gun Club. You can't. Um, uh, the physics is terrible. Whenever I try to... Well, I can't do it with a pistol. I'm going to get a different gun. I'll be right back. Say for this thing, for example. Uh, no, this is a terrible example. I should not go in pistol category. 
<laughs> rifles. Yes, that's good. Oh, these are shotguns. Rifles. Rifles, there we go. Let's get a P90. So, in Gun Club, there is a P90, and I was very happy about that, but the only thing that sucked was that if you, like, this is something that I absolutely hated. So, what the... <laughs> what? Um... Am I not holding this right? Or can I just not double fold it? I'm getting terrible example guns for this. I'm trying to show you an example of why H3 of why H3 is so much more superior than Gun Club, but it's going very terribly. There you go. Hopefully this this suppressed SMG from Fortnite will work. Yes, okay, so if I double hold it. It works good. It feels good. Well, you can't really feel anything, but it works good. I can actually look at it around and stuff. In Gun Club, it's very glitchy. If I try to hold it like this, the gun will like stay right here and walk to here, and it'll just kind of turn like this. It's very glitchy. I hate it so much. It always made me so mad. And I. And another thing, the thing that made me most mad about Gun Club compared to H3 is like. It's a gun club is supposed to be a quest version of H3, a gun simulator teaching you about guns. But how can they do that if you can find it? Okay, this might be a little hard to find. Not really, but I'm not that good at finding things. There are grenades. Something about gun club is that you get a grenade. You pull out the pin, and this is how it works in real life. You pull out the pin, and as long as you keep this handle down, you're good. And then when you throw it, the handle comes off, and the grenade, and that's how the grenade blows up. Oh, shoot. Well, that's gone. But in Gun Club, the way it works is that uh, if you pull, as soon as you pull out the pin, the handle just comes right off. It basically works like that, and I hate that. Yeah, I died. I killed myself. Wow. Great job, me. Great job. Um, but yeah, that's something that bothered the heck out of me, and I wanted to literally just slap, slap something in the face because of how stupid that was. And, and in Gun Club, you also get cardboard cutouts, which there are in H3 too, but there's also these hot dog people. Which I think is a great way to not have violence, but also be able to test guns out on, like, organic things. So I'm going to go into shotguns. I'm going to grab my favorite shotgun, lever action. Now, I want to say that my... or Well, actually, I can say, because I'm telling the truth here. But uh, most people might think that my love for lever action shotguns will come from the movie Terminator. And... That is not true. It's actually the other way around. I love lever action shotguns, and I didn't want to be that guy that's like, oh, I love them just because I've watched Terminator. And and I was hesitant to watch Terminator because I didn't want to be like, oh, well, I love Terminator all because of lever action shotguns. And eventually, and I was like, you know, what, I'm just gonna see the. I'm just gonna try out the first movie and see. And uh, and I did, and I was hooked. So, yeah. This should be the last one. Yeah. Okay, so. Something that I like to do, and I'm not going to say I'm the first that made this up, because I feel like I'm not. At least one of the person that's had it try this. But I will say that I feel like I'm a few people that have learned this, or do this, or like doing this. So, so, after you shoot, then you can just go like... And that's my way of spinning it. Now, Anton, the developer, did way you did, did implement a way to spin it. You hold down the joystick, and then make your arm go in a circular motion. Like that. And that's cool too, but I feel more satisfaction out of doing this.
so yeah. Now, I'm going to dedicate this next, uh, I'm going to dedicate this next gun to my friend Sean. Now, I'm going to prove to him how good this game is, and I'm going to do that by spawning his favorite. I can't remember what it is, revolvers, now, Anton added a whole bunch of revolvers. I saw the video on him adding all these revolvers, and I'm like, man, Sean would love this. <sighs> now, I can't remember what the type of revolver that he would... Well, I can remember what it does, I just can't remember what it is. So I'm gonna try to find it. No, 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 because a single action is the one he takes. See this one. Let's see. This is a mute. It's pretty long. Okay, so let's see. Let's talk about that. Doesn't this. Nope. Why do you have to double tap things? Can I fix that in settings? Or am I just stuck double tapping things because I'm on quest? So I have to double tap my thumbstick down. Now. I have no knowledge on how to reload this. Wait, right, does it just reload like this, like a nerf gun? No, that's stupid. I'm retarded. Yeah, I'm retarded. My knowledge for guns is kind of in the middle. Depends on what gun I'm using. P90, I love it. This, I have no, I have no knowledge on it whatsoever. Don't worry, Sean, I will find the one that you like. Now, this thing is make-believe. Anton made this up, but it's still awesome. Oh my god, it's huge. He was not lying when he said it was Nerf gun size. Just a... Uh... It actually is Nerf gun size. Now, how do I... Oh, it's that simple. Spin. What the heck? That was a good spin. There you go. Okay. So I do believe this thing is overpowered. Oh jeez. That scared me because at first it didn't fire. And then I saw a hammer pulling back and I was like, oh. I like the spark nice. It's pretty nice. And I'm out. So, hold down. Hold down. Oh yeah, you can also spin revolvers. Do that. It's kind of hard, to be honest. It's a lot harder than spinning lever action shotguns. Okay, come out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How did I reload this before? There we go. How do I do this? Oh. Okay. Now, shoot. Nope. Stop flipping. I'm trying to get it open again. I don't even do it. I forget very easily how I did it the first time. It's going to be so hard if I knew how the buttons worked in this game. But I don't, because this is Quest. And Quest kind of wasn't made for this game. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, fine. No, no, I don't think it, I don't, I don't believe it was these. It is? Oh, it has instructions, I completely forgot. I do believe this is one of those ones where you can do like this. 
is the arrow listed in. Okay, so. Okay. Ah, shoot, I've got a spawn on it. Go ahead. God dang it. No! Okay, turn. There we go. Turn. Turn. You did it before. There we go. No! Okay, this is hard. Oh, wait, why am, I, why am I trying so hard? I know a revolver that Sean will like. This one. Oh my god, it's huge. I don't think I've ever I don't think I've ever spawned this thing before. Which is a shocker, I know. No. Why do the revolvers are why are the revolvers able to go into shoot yourself mode? I just wanna open it. I just wanna open it. I I just wanna open it. It's all I wish. Why does it have to be why is most of the interaction with the guns have to be on one one joystick? But you have to press down. It's not a button, it's a joystick. Buttons are made for spamming. Spam pressing, not joysticks. It's hard. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I have it. Pull it down. Okay. Oh, there you go. I was trying way too hard. It was that simple. There. Okay, so I think you can spend this? No. Okay, so Okay, so this is not the one that Sean likes. My trick that I mentioned before of me naming... Oh, you can't spin it. That was awkward. Oh, that's how you do it. Kind of did it. Yeah, it's kind of awkward. Stop! I don't want to spin. I want to do the thing. Fine, I'll spin. Here, it's fun. Okay, Sean, trust me on this, that there is those revolvers that you like. I just, I'm too stupid to know which one it is or how to get it to work. But just trust me on this. This? This looks too modern. And again, I have no idea if they are modern or not. This for left-handed people. This drum is huge. I don't want to shoot myself. My quest controllers are too big for me to touch this. But it doesn't matter because you can't. All the revolvers are spinning, but I'm just, it's hard for me. Yeah. I don't think this is it either. 
unless most of them are it, and I just want them. Not this, but I'm just going to check it out. Hey, this is one of the guns that's in Gun Club. But that is in Gun Club. It's like in Gun Club, it's locked. I think it's about this long, maybe. Did I not put it in There's two extra slots, which is kind of weird to be honest. Yeah. I it might also be a glitch with my quest because it might be a glitch with my controller because some uh for, one, that would work. Clock. No. Yeah, clock. Clock. Clock 17. Okay, so here's the clock. All right, and this should be really fast to shoot. See that? Comes. What I'm doing is I'm pressing my trigger as fast as I can, but it it doesn't shoot as fast as it should, as fast as I'm spamming. Look, I'm going to spam it a lot. This is me spamming my trigger. Okay? I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can hear me spamming my trigger, but this is me spamming my trigger. So I think that's a glitch with my Quest controller, or just my Quest in general, compared to other VR headsets, and maybe that's why I can't get the revolvers to work the way I want it to, because with revolvers, I have to hold down the trigger. Actually, no, it's just, it's just me. It's just me. Um, I guess it's just barrel guns that you have to hold down the trigger for. Barrel guns, and I say that because the Demolands grenade launcher, it, oh, frick. It does the same thing. I have to hold down the trigger. I can't just spam it. But in Anton's video, and I don't know if this is like a nerf to the grenade launcher, but in Anton's video, in Anton's video, he was able to spam it. But for me, I have to hold it down. And if I try to spam it, then the barrel doesn't go all the way. If I hold down, the barrel goes all the way. Now, is this a nerf to the grenade launcher, or, is, or did Anton just not do it right? Or am I not doing it right? Or is that controller glitch? I don't know. Now... Do I even deserve one? Now, uh... What was I saying? Out of here. Yeah, I will find it. I don't care how long it takes. Now, I might. Oh wait, this is the one. Not, not this one. This is the. This is how it looked in Gunpowder. I guess I just spawned this one. This one. No, this one. It's on this one. Oh. Huh. This one maybe. Oh, this is too messy. And it flips now. Flip down. Please. Oh, I did it. Don't spin! Flip. What's the exact way of doing this? Because I don't know. Like, for you, Quest, there. For you. 
for you quest owners that have H3, please give me some guidance. So this is hard. It's hard and annoying. So this is it? it's long. Maybe next video, or before next video, I'll ask Sean for some guidance on what I'm doing. On not what I'm doing wrong, because he has no idea either. He has very is he has little less knowledge than me on this game, but maybe he'll give me some tips on what the revolver is and how it would work. So I completely forgot what it looks like. That was my last stride, but I do want to show off one more thing. This is what I love about this game. And, oh, I thought it was going to break. So, this is not doable with many VR games, because many VR games don't put this much effort into it. But I love this because the physics work. So let me just move this down. Here. The physics actually work. They work really well. This might give me some line down here. I'm going to show this off. If I get another pot, that here. Because. And it sounds cool. It sounds like you're actually putting shells in a pond. So, I think that's all the shells around me. There's this. There's that over there. I can reach that. There's a way to empty this, but I have no idea how. I'm just going to leave it back. So if I grab this part, dump it. If I get one shell out of this part, put it in this, roll it. It, it, it works. It works good for a VR game. It's not perfect to real life, but I think it's the best physics in a VR game that I have ever seen. Whoa! That was cool. Okay, another pot. I do believe I should be able to grab it. This. Oh, where'd it go? It's right there. Oh god. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, so. Yeah, let me just kind of uh, fill this up more. I'll come back to you when I'm satisfied with how it's filled up. Okay, so there. I think that's good. Don't forget my lever action. 
Alright, holding this up. That was loaded. That was all loaded. What the? What was over there? The, look at the detail of the shotgun shells when they get blown out. I love it. But if I load this, or if I open this, then. One sec. There we go. Do this. that. How many shots? One, two, three, four, five, five. We're missing one more shell, but that's something that's cool to do. I don't know why it's so much easier to load to spit this than it bothers, but whatever. But that is why I love H3 so much, and uh, this wasn't, like, a comparison video. I'm not hating on Gun Club. It just really bothers me how so many things are different compared to H3. But at the same time, I'm glad, because that makes H3 its own unique v uh, VR gun testing game. And, uh... This video wasn't, wasn't about comparing those two games. I just wanted to mention it, because I've been waiting to get that out to people for so long. But uh, I'm so glad that I can finally record my VR. And if you guys like this video, then I'll be so happy to do more video on VR because I've been waiting to for so long. But uh, yeah, so I guess I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.